What is going on guys, Blink here, back with a new guide. So in this guide, we'll be explaining advantages and disadvantages about the burst and the fully auto rifles. Also, the V-Bucks giveaway is still going on, so make sure to visit the link in the description to enter. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications as opposed to Amazon gift card code in the comments every time I upload. By turning on notifications, you'll have a way better chance of getting here first and redeeming that code. Anyways guys, let's get this guide started. So the bursts versus the autos, which one's actually better? Both style of weapons are great to use. Some people might choose that blue burst over the gold scar and others might choose that gold scar over the blue burst. Well, I'm here to explain about these rifles and see if I can make it a little easier for you to choose one. Both are grey style weapons that are good for different situations. Now, I want to get into the damage stats on each of them. So, we have the grey burst, green burst, and blue burst. The Grey Burst does 109.62 damage per second with a body damage of 27, headshot damage of 54, and a reload time of 2.9 seconds. While the Green Burst does 117.74 damage per second with a body damage of 29, headshot damage of 58, and a reload time of 2.7 seconds. And lastly, the Blue Burst does 121.8 damage per second with a body damage of 30, headshot damage of 60, and a reload time of 2.5 seconds. And they all deal the same structure damage which is 30. So let's move on to the M16s. The Grey does 165 damage per second with a body damage of 30, headshot damage of 60, and a reload time of 2.3 seconds. The Green does 170.5 damage per second with a body damage of 31, headshot damage of 62, and a reload time of 2.2 seconds. And the Blue does 181.5 damage per second with a body damage of 33, headshot damage of 66, and a reload time of 2.2 seconds. Now let's move on to the Scars. So the Purple Scar does 192.5 damage per second with a body damage of 35, headshot damage of 70, and a reload time of 2.1 seconds, while the gold scar does 198 damage per second with a body damage of 36, headshot damage of 72, and a reload time of 2.1 seconds. All the scars and the M16s deal the same amount of structural damage which is 33. Now, we will quickly get into the details for the structural damage. It takes the blue burst 1.16 seconds and 7 bullets to destroy a wooden wall. It takes the blue M16 1.4 seconds and 7 bullets to destroy a wooden wall. And it takes the golden scar 1.3 seconds and 7 bullets to destroy a wooden wall. So there's some differences between the burst and the auto rifles, and we'll get into the details about structures later. So let's get into the burst. The burst is a great weapon and its strongest point is that damage. It's best used for the straight on opponent damage if you can land that entry burst on the head. You'll be doing up to 60 damage per bullet, which is pretty good. Now, about a month ago, Epic did nerf the burst from 72 damage per headshot to 60, which is what it does now. It's still really good though, but a lot of players are now somewhat gearing more towards that purple and gold scar. Now, as I said, the headshot damage is your strongest point with the burst. If you're great with your aim, then you can absolutely tear players up with one burst shot. Now, from my understanding, the headshot multiplier is 2.5 for the burst, which means you'll be dealing up to 150 damage with the blue burst if you can land all three bullets onto your opponent. Now, I want to talk about structural damage. This is the weak point of the burst, dealing damage to player structures. And as you guys might be wondering, well, who cares? When you shoot your first initial burst shot onto an opponent and miss, it takes a few seconds to be able to shoot another, and you'll usually only be able to shoot that first burst before your opponent has walls to cover himself. After each burst, you're vulnerable as you cannot shoot back and apply pressure. This is why the strong point of a burst is that entry damage. Getting off that damage onto your opponent at the start of the fight is crucial. If you land that first burst, you'll put your opponent's HP in a pretty bad state. Now, if you miss and he starts pushing you with walls and stairs, then you won't really have a chance to drop him down as it just takes too long to destroy materials with the burst. Your opponent will usually be able to get above you no problem if you aren't the greatest builder. Now, if you're a great builder and you can fight for that high ground pretty well, then you should be able to use that burst no problem. You'll usually want to build off for that high ground and start fighting with your close range weapons because as I said, it's much harder to take down structures with the burst. It leaves you vulnerable for a longer period of time. Now, the burst is also better when shooting players while crouched. When you wait for that crosser to close, you'll be able to shoot three bullets before you have to wait for the crosser to reset. While with the ARs, you'll only be able to shoot one until you need to wait for that reset. Now, let's get into the fully auto rifles. So, I'll be talking about the blue M16 and the SCAR at the same time as they both have similarities. Now, the blue M16 will do 66 damage to the head per bullet, and the gold SCAR will do 72 damage. The main pros of both weapons is that material damage. You'll be able to destroy materials within 1.3 to 1.4 seconds, which really does make a big difference compared to the burst. No matter what color grade you have, you'll be dealing 33 damage per shot. You can constantly keep shooting and just keep destroying your opponent's materials as they try to build up or build away from you. This is 
is the main reason why I started to switch from the burst to the fully auto rifles. I used to play with the burst for a good month until I figured out I need that material damage to really apply pressure onto my opponent. I'm just able to keep shooting my opponent's structures from the high ground or before a build off happens. Here's an example of me just spraying my opponent with an auto AR. He tried to build up but I'm able to instantly destroy his materials every time he tries to rebuild. I was able to get a few hits off with my AR and push up for that shock and elimination, absolutely applying pressure throughout the whole fight without allowing a build off to happen, which is just a strong point about these automatic ARs. Now, here's an example of me trying to destroy my opponent's materials with the burst. It's just not possible because by the time I get his staircase low, he was able to place a wall and block me from destroying his stairs. I now have to go through the wall in order to finish off his stairs. This allowed him to get above me which put me in a bad situation. So what I recommend you do if you have a burst and your opponent's building up is to build up too. Basically if you cannot see your opponent, then build. If you can still see your opponent, then try landing some shots onto him. If you're great with your aim, then the burst is super deadly to just drain your opponent's HP in less time than a typical AR. Now, I personally drop the burst for a gold scar if I'm using the burst as my primary weapon because of the player damage and the bonus of the structural damage I get. Now, if you are landing shots with the burst, then it's absolutely deadly. As long as you're landing most of your shots, then yeah, go for that burst as you'll be draining your opponent's HP pretty quickly. If you notice yourself missing, then switch it up for that automatic rifle. So let's conclude this video. If you're super good with landing shots, then the blue burst can shred your opponents. Now remember, that structural damage isn't the greatest. Now if you don't mind, and you can usually outbuild your opponent and use those shotguns for the finisher, then the burst is a great option. Now if you're more geared towards destroying your opponent's structures and applying that pressure during a build battle, battle or before one, then any fully auto AR will be your best bet. It all depends on how you guys like to play. So the last question I want to ask you guys is what do you guys prefer using? Let me know in the comments below and hopefully you guys have enjoyed this guide explaining both weapons advantages and weaknesses. Hopefully I've helped some people out and a like and a sub will be greatly appreciated as it does help me out a lot. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and hope you have a great rest of your day or night and I'll see you on the next one.